I know a good mama when I see a good mama out right here. We have a wonderful story right here. We have a Missouri mother. A Missouri mother burns her baby to death inside of a oven after claiming she mistook it for a baby crib. I can say it again. Don't even worry about it. We have a Missouri mother who burns her baby to death inside of a oven after claiming that she mistook it for a baby's crib. So she burnt her baby in the oven by mistake on purpose. I'd hear in the street. Um, damn it. Burn the baby in the oven and then claim to the police that she mistook it. She... <laughs> Claim to the police that she mistook the cooker for a crib. Cops described the scene in a Kansas City home as gruesome after the after the tot belonging to the mom, Mariah Thomas, was found badly burnt and not breathing on Friday. Thomas told authorities that she was putting her child down for a nap and accidentally placed the child in the oven instead of the crib. Jackson County prosecutor Gene Peters Baker said that our hearts are, are weighted by the loss of this precious life. We trust the criminal justice system to respond um, appropriately to these awful circumstances. He said, according to the local outlet, he said Thomas was charged with endangering the welfare of a child and for the death of a child. Got America flag up. That's that's what's up. Shout out America out here in these streets. Uh Rob, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this is the mother. Show sure enough is. Hold on. Stroll it down just a little bit. Last month, a toddler was found inside of a home of a disgraced police lieutenant and foster father who was in jail for child rape. Now, why did they have to add this to a mother story? That's crazy. The mother called 911 after the child suffered from a medical emergency inside of a Boston area home. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The child was found in the home um, of a former Winthrop Police Lieutenant James Feely, who was arrested in December. Why did they add that to her story? Why did they add a toddler was found dead? We don't care nothing about no toddler being found dead out here in these streets when y'all gonna tell us that a mother mistakenly put her baby that she loves so much inside of a oven. Why would y'all do that to us? Huh? Huh? Shout out to F. Wallace for the for the for the one dollar rumble rent. He, he said, "What kind of essentials was she on, Willie? I don't even much know. I have no idea how you can mistake a baby crib because you like a baby crib is like open. You put a baby in the crib. Uh, oven, you got to do that thing called open the door first. I have no idea. And this is that beautiful mama. Shout out to baby out for having her real though." Shout that baby out for having her real. She have a look on her face like, what y'all say I did? And be like, yeah, baby, you did that. Woo, he said, can't set the bed. He said, can't set the crib at 375. And listen, listen, y'all have to think. So glad that y'all around here and y'all know who I'm here. Um, who cut the oven on, man? So, so you mistakenly sock the baby inside the oven, which you had to open it and close it. This is what you had to do. But you also had to cut the oven on. This is what that baby did. She cut the oven on. I wonder, now I wonder what was the temperature. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the chicken was in the crib and the baby went in the oven. You say she was on bath salts, tripping, tripping. The hell? Say sound like she got vertigo. Oh, don't do it to me. Listen, let me, listen. Let me watch your baby real, real quick. Bring your baby around here so I can put your baby to sleep. I'm gonna lay your baby down. Don't even worry about it. I got your baby. 
I got it, I got it. She said, crackhead. He said, now nah, that's postpartum. <laughs> say, when it was the baby in the middle rack or the top rack? You know what? That's a good question. And then a lot of times, because of the size of a child, it's kind of like it's a little bit smaller than a turkey. Depends on how big your baby was when you had the baby. You would possibly have to take a rack out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to think it through. You would possibly have to take a rack out before the baby could fit. You know? Mm. Mm, I don't. Mm. I have no idea. Say so what can. Hell no, nah, she got that. She got my voodoo ritual. Didn't, didn't work face. I don't know. I bet she was mad at the baby daddy. I bet you were mad at the baby daddy. What is that baby name again? Um, Mariah. Me and Mariah go back like babies and pacify. Yeah, Mariah. Mariah Thomas did that, though. And she did that. She, let, let, let's go to the Guardian to see if they saying anything else. Um, lay the baby down for a little nap around here. All right, the baby died when the mother mistakenly, they gonna get it, bitch, pad mistakenly put her baby in the oven. I have no idea how, how do you make that mistake? One is an open area and one sit, one should not be in the kitchen. A baby crib, um, don't be in the kitchen. Now do it. The only, I guess like the, oh, hell, but even if you is cooking, you would not have the baby crib inside of the kitchen. Unless you have like a small apartment, maybe, maybe, maybe you may put the check. Well, hell not because you don't want to wake the baby up. So you will put the baby inside the crib, like in the living room and or a bathroom, especially if you cooking, because you don't want to make noise. You don't want to, you know, wake the baby up, you know, so you wouldn't have the baby inside the kitchen. All right. Um, she was charged with endangering the welfare of a child. The court records did not yet show whether she has an attorney and no phone listings for her could be immediately found. The police responded on Friday to a report of an infant not breathing. You say a probable call statement um, said re responders found the child with apparent burns and the child was pronounced dead at the scene. The statement said, said the responders was told by a witness that the mother put the child down for a nap and accidentally put the child in the oven instead of a crib. So they was told by a witness. So somebody else was in the house. Somebody else was in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blame it on postpartum. The statement did not offer an explanation about how that mistake was made. We acknowledge the gruesome nature of the tragedy and our hearts are way heavy. All right, we did all that right there. They said we trust the criminal system. I got that right there. Um, I hope you appreciate this article. Before you move on, I wanted to ask if you would consider supporting the Guardian journalism as as we enter one of the most contracentrals news cycle of our lifetime to 2024 from Elon Musk to the Murdochs. A small number of billionaire owners have a powerful hold on so much of the information that reaches the public about what's happening in the world. Oh, wow. What is going on with the Guardian? The Guardian is different. We have no billionaire owner or shareholders to consider. Our journalism is produced to serve the public interest, not profit motive. Oh, oh, ooh. So it's a fight out here in these streets for to keep real journalism going. And yes, yes, I do understand because of um, places like Facebook, YT, um, and it, it used to be Twitter. They is giving out and, and like the big, the big news people is a lot of fake news. And if you don't agree with stuff and then they are, they are shadow banning the information. They're taking down the information. So shout out to the guardian for asking for help and stuff like that right now. But this beautiful baby, this is by mistake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
we got news folk. Hold on. Let's see what news folk gonna do with it. A woman is charged, all right, with allegedly putting a baby inside the thing. Let's see what they saying, though, then. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, we gotta wait for the commercial. I didn't even know that there was a video. But we're gonna wait for the commercial. Here, all right, all right, we got six seconds. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. Org. Police are trying to figure out how a baby died this afternoon. Me it happened too. at a Kansas City home at 41st and Forest. Fox Force Dave DeMarco is live at police headquarters with the latest. Lauren, right now, police are calling this baby's death suspicious. Really? Neighbors heard screaming. Ambulances arrive, and then a baby's car seat carried from a home at 41st in Forest this afternoon. Obviously, when 40 cop cars showed up, everyone was out here trying to figure it out and piece it together. He just told me that he can't tell me much, that there's an active death investigation inside the home. Um, and that nobody in our neighborhood is currently in danger. Right now, police are calling that death investigation suspicious. They say EMS was called on a baby not breathing, found the baby unresponsive. They rendered aid, but declared the baby dead inside the home. Police say they made contact with people that were there. One neighbor showed us video of a visibly distraught person walking with police. I don't think that person that was crying and grieving was who caused it. I think whoever, you know, they're not bringing out is probably Maybe, maybe at fault, you know, so I'm hoping not. That would be super sad. Super sad. And I should point out that police say those homicide detectives and crime scene detectives being called out is really customary. Any investigation like this is they want to collect all the evidence that they might need as they wait on the medical examiner's determination for the cause of death. But Lauren, they also are saying that they are in contact with the prosecutor's office, making them aware of their investigation. Okay, all right, cool. They got questions like we got questions. Shout out to Fly 12 for the $1 rum. Randy say she was standing at that oven smelling the child roasting on her. Ooh, essential products licking her lips like LL Cool J rubbing her hands like Birdman. That baby was like, yeah, that was this baby almost done. <laughs> it's almost done. Doggone shame. What else did they put in the article? Nothing, nothing, nothing. We ain't got nothing. Slide down. Nope. We ain't got nothing. We as um this was suspicious. Very, very suspicious, as we be out here saying. And this is all they got for us. This is all the news. The toddler was found dead. Hell. Let's click on this one here too. Who the hell is did right here? Oh, this is at the New York Post too? Oh, do they have an update? Hold on, hold on. This. Oh, no. No, we do not want to add this one right here in. No, we want her to have her own dog on store. We ain't got nothing. Nope. Nope. We not even finna put no light on the baby found dead. Don't nobody care about that. Damn it, we care about the baby who was put inside the oven by mistake on purpose. You know what I'm saying? That's really, really what it was. And now I don't know why I can't go back to it, but I'm not even worried about that right now. So listen, listen, this is a learning lesson. This is a learning lesson. Double check, double check and triple check. When you put your baby down for a night night. Mm-hmm. She say, Willie, why your brothers in blue tell the neighbors that she was trying to make sauce meat at that baby? Damn. He said the toddler was kicking on the door and she held the clothes. Got to be more careful. Maybe the child, maybe the child was, um screaming and stuff like that right there and she just wanted the child to be quiet so the all toddlers all babies uh, um at the sound of my voice i hope that y'all hear me willie say hush okay how old are you you make too much damn noise your mama might get tired your mama might get tired moving right along i ain't gonna eat much hold you Jeez.